For most Australians, fluoride in drinking water means one thing, better teeth. But for many Queenslanders, the fluoridation of the water supply is something to be feared. Under pressure from anti-fluoride groups, the mandatory fluoridation, fluoridation introduced by the former Labor government is being rolled back by local councils one by one, much to the dismay of health authorities. Matt Wordsworth reports. It's Monday night in Charters Towers in North Queensland and Marilyn Haynes has flown in from Brisbane to address the local council. I look forward to listening to all views this evening. She's an anti-fluoride lobbyist and has travelled about 1,400 kilometres to convince the councillors to dump water fluoridation. And, and it says, um, use is a Schedule 6 poison, uses as an insecticide, particularly for roaches and ants. You know, blah, 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 steel degassing agent, electroplating, fluoridation of drinking water. So you can use it either for killing insects or for fluoridation of drinking water. The debate may be decades old for the rest of the country, but Queensland has long resisted fluoride and opposition is growing. Please take it out. It's killing her and the rest of us. It's a toxic byproduct that costs manufacturers a lot of money to dispose of. So instead, we want to have it in our water for us to drink it. In a matter of weeks, nine councils around Queensland have abandoned the public health measure from Australia's 14th largest city, Cairns, in the far north, to the northwestern centre of Cloncurry and south to the Wide Bay. Together, they represent almost half a million people. The battleground is now on Brisbane's doorstep. Thank you, and the Lord's Prayer. Alan Sutherland is the Mayor of Moreton Bay Regional Council, a commuter and retiree community of almost 400,000 people on Brisbane's northern outskirts. Well, I think it's fair to say most councillors would be in favour of uh, taking fluoride out of the water supply if the opportunity arose and if it could be done cost effectively. With the actual, uh, Councillor James Houghton believes it's mass medication without consent with potentially harmful effects and is pushing the no case ahead of a vote expected next month. I'm not wrong. Uh, Galileo was proven right, even though they said he was wrong. Columbus was proven right uh, when others said he was wrong. Uh, when I was younger, they used to spray us with DDT, spray us. Uh, that's been proven wrong. So science is, uh, uh, makes themselves, uh, provided there's proper research done, uh, they will come up and prove previous reports wrong. So uh, I've adopted a, uh, an old adage that when in doubt, anyway, leave out. When in doubt, leave out. Until 2008, Townsville was the only place in Queensland with fluoridated water. Then Premier Anna Bly changed all that, announcing a mandatory rollout that would take until the end of 2012. But after Campbell Newman came to power, he abandoned the mandatory rollout and gave the decision to local councils. Bundaberg was the first to drop fluoride. A lot of people, anti-fluoride people, that sent me emails and talked to me about the health issues and it makes one wonder and concern why it comes out of aluminium smelters uh, chimneys in China and they don't put it in their water and, and they export it to us to put it in our water. I, I don't believe that there's something wrong there somewhere and we shouldn't have to, have to force people to drink water with fluoride in it. Now it's a fight being waged town by town council by council. So thank you very much for the invitation to speak. Queensland Health has dispatched senior dentist Dr Michael Foley to argue that fluoride is an effective public health measure. The science is very much on one side of the argument. There are, there are no reputable health authorities anywhere in the world that oppose water fluoridation. There are certainly individuals and sometimes smart individuals and there are certainly single issue groups but, but the the health groups around the world and the science groups around the world are strongly on the side of fluoridation. A study in the 1990s which compared children in fluoridated Townsville to non-fluoridated Brisbane found about 60% fewer dental caries or incidents of tooth decay in the Townsville children. We have to look at the big picture and we say in the long term this will save us money, save us an absolute truckload of money and it will make us healthier. It, it's a no-brainer. Fluoride is a, is a winner. People in other states look at, not just dental people, but people in, who come up from other states 
look at us and they just shake their heads and they say, what, what, you don't have fluoride in the water or haven't you always had fluoride in the water? Well, no, we haven't. Some councils are thankful for being given the power to decide. Others feel public health is not their jurisdiction and it should be the responsibility of Queensland's Health Minister, Lawrence Springborg. We understand people want to make different decisions to central government agencies and not be dictated to, and we respect that as well. We just ask them to have a debate on all the information. If upon that they feel they're uncomfortable to proceed with fluoridation, we do respect that. Even if it's to their own detriment? Well, that's a very subjective thing. I mean, people have different views. With well, it's not to subjective according to your own department. No, no, no. You've got Dr Michael Foley well, out there saying it's yeah, an important it's, public health No, but what I'm saying is that you know, some people have a different and a very, very heartfelt view with regards to this. We would just say to them that we encourage you to look at the positive benefits that can come from the fluoridation of water supplies. OK, so this is what we do. Um, we have a reverse osmosis filter. This yep. is the reverse osmosis part on top of these are carbon filters down here. So this strips the fluoride from the water? Yep, yep. At home in Brisbane, Marilyn Haynes refuses to accept the assurances of major medical groups. People interstate where water fluoridation has been going on for 40 years are going to look to Queensland and think, what's going on up there? Yeah. They, you know, they're going to think that, that you know, we're <laughs> well, kooks. Yeah, well, we're not the odd ones out. They're the crazy ones for fluoridating. 95% of the world doesn't fluoridate and they have just as good a teeth or better. If anything, the recent success with councils has made her resolve even stronger. We've been campaigning for six years now and um, spent six years already. I'm happy to spend another six.